Now, hold on, whoa. Almost got me. So yeah, exactly what you were doing for this. Is step step back. Yeah, I will. Step step back along the wall and uh and then hit this area of the front porch, like this front this back part here. The, yeah, so like this, you know, maybe like as yeah. much as you can. And then you'll come out and then spray the rest of the roof from out here. Because if you spray the roof right if you spray the roof now from out here, then when you step over here to spray the inside, all this chem is going to be just dripping on you. Does okay. that make sense? Yep. All right. Oh, I, that makes perfect sense. I yeah. So you'll hit all this here, and then when you're just done with that, yeah. you'll walk over here, so then you can hit everything here, and it's not dripping on you. Yeah. Gotta think ahead a little bit. I'm going to get out the way so I don't get hit with chem. So... Yeah, I know that was a little long, but yeah, cleaning front porches are a little different. You might have noticed I had the, uh, you know, let me zoom in. Oh, I got the tracking mode on. Whoops. So you might notice I got the uh, fans. There's two ceiling fans. I didn't worry about so much about the blades, but the um, motor. I wanted to make sure the motor was covered just to kind of protect our ass. You got all the wood? Yeah. Alright. Okay. Sounds good. And then when you were spraying, did you spray the lip of this white trim here? Uh, going this way up to this point. And then I was about to hit you while you were recording. So you hit the other side? The, oh, like what you're spraying right yeah. now? Okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. So. I'll do this over. You're gonna, the only, you might think you're hitting it, but you're not. I know. I'll go on the other side. Alright. Yeah, so the way that he's angled, he's not getting the other side of that lip. And that's the first thing they'll see when they walk out. So now he's able to get in there. I was hoping he could have avoided having the chem dropping on him if he, uh, if he uh, sprayed that at first. But sometimes you just overlook things. Cool. So let's get this spray because it's starting to dry. Yep. We're almost out of time on that one. Let's see. That wall to the right is done. There's, there's, yeah, there's no chem on this. Well, that's that. I'll show you guys the results. All right, so far. We're doing the house, we got the house washed in the back. Um, right now I have chem, I threw in a free walkway cleaning for this guy. He had a hard time accepting the price and uh, you know, it is what it is. Some people are like that. But uh, that's another good thing about doing, you know, I did the estimate on the spot, which I'm getting away from. I don't really do that anymore. Um, but if you can, you know, if you use the customer factor, you don't have to do estimates on the spot. You can take your notes, go home, and email them so you don't have to, you know, sometimes it's a little awkward when you're face-to-face -face with someone and they try negotiating your price. If you're not, you know, if you get, show any weakness, then they'll walk all over you. But if you just stay away from it and just say, hey, we only do, I, I got to go home and add some things up, uh, but I'll, I'll, get, I'll write up an estimate for you. You can give them a ballpark and... Basically, when you give them a ballpark, always go high. So say it's like a $500 job, tell them it'll be between five and seven hundred. Don't say, don't say between four and five hundred, because then when you quote them five hundred, they'll be like, ah, what about four? You know. Um, so with the concrete cleaning, I hate using the pump-up spray or so slow. What I did is I downstream straight chlorine on there. So instead of uh, instead of mixing it like half and half i just put the straight straight up um chlorine in a, in a one gallon bucket one gallon jug i put like three or four ounces of a laminator for that one gallon and uh, i just mist sprayed all of the sidewalk um, i wet everything first so
so I and not a heavy wet like not puddles of water but you know got it wet I wet all the stuff around it especially in the grass around it and applied the chemical and then when I was done applying the chemical I put the water back on and I sprayed all the plants around the concrete not didn't spray the concrete with fresh water but like the, the edges the grass and all the all the uh, plants and stuff so let's go take a look at what Colt's doing He's making hella progress. Gone all the way around. All we got left is the front of the house. Half of the front of the house, actually. So I told them to go ahead and wash this. Uh, we're doing a basic window cleaning, so I'm letting my chem kind of sit on the the concrete over there for probably like 15 minutes. With concrete, you gotta let that chem sit on there quite a while. And it's all right if it dries. It's not at the end of the world. It's really not a problem at all. Um, so anyway, he's gonna finish this side up when he's done with this side um, I'll probably be starting on the concrete and I told him to go ahead and start cleaning the windows with the water fed pole so he'll start cleaning the windows I'll wash the front of the house we should be out of here by 12 so I want to show you guys the how the wood turned out this is just a house wash mix it was untreated wood really brightened it up now there is some staining up here, which it's looking like we could probably get it out if we hit that again. So I'm going to have him do that. This one I'm not so sure about, but it's really the same stuff. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Looks really good. We might try to hit that again just because I want the satisfaction. Because this cleaned up so well. The fact that, that cleaned up well just tells me that that will clean up, clean up well. So, um, guys, I've really been throwing in my estimate, making it clear in my estimates that the homeowners need to move all this stuff. Uh, this job, we would it would have took us an hour just to move all this stuff. They had uh, lights wrapped around all the beams. I told them we don't want to risk uh, ruining that because it's very the the chemicals we use are corrosive. So, I had them move all the stuff and the stuff out the front porch. If you're not clear on that, you could literally waste a whole hour of your time just moving stuff. And then you got to factor in, you got to move it back. So, and plus you don't want to be, could you imagine moving something and then breaking it and then feeling like you have to replace it because you technically broke it? So, it's really important to make it clear that they have to move the stuff. And of course, if they have a physical restraint, you'll help them move because you're a nice guy. But, you know, you're not a mover, you're a power washer. They're paying for power washing, they're not paying for a moving service. You know what I mean? So, that's that. That's where we're at on this job. Colt's applying chem now. This is why you gotta work against the sun. Look at, he already, he rinsed this, got this house wet and it's already drying. We'll be all right though. But, that's why it's real important to work with the, work against the sun. Oh, look at the doggy. <laughs> so, all right. <laughs> fed pole brush is super cool so the rate another a way to get rid of oxidation so say you had oxidation on aluminum or even vinyl the way to actually get rid of it is simply by brushing by brushing it out with a soft brush like a water fed pole brush and you just brush it until that oxidation is gone that's why when you come across windows and you see like that white chalkiness it's like a white 
there's white stuff coming off. That's that's the frame is oxidized, and you just got to keep rubbing it and cleaning it and cleaning it. Sometimes it feels like it'll never end, but it will. You just keep rubbing it and rubbing it, scrubbing it, scrubbing it, cleaning, rinsing until that white stuff stops running. Because if you leave it, that white stuff's gonna be all over the window when you're done. Um, so you have to rub that oxidation off. But so we're going. I'm going through while I'm cleaning these windows, and I'm just scrubbing the vinyl real quick to get rid of the bleeders. Cause that's how you get rid of bleeders is with like a damp rag you wipe off the bleeders but you could also use the brush and just rinse them off real quick uh scrub them off and uh, i'm also using this brush to scrub off these little white marks little white dots and marks from bugs and stuff behind the signs for whatever reason the house wash mix didn't take it off so just wanted to share that information with you all right job well done we're about to get up out of here we got everything packed up. That's the best part, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Packing everything up. Cleaning it all up. The best part is unpacking and getting started. Ooh, what an overachiever. Wow.